My name is Brandi Smith. I am the John and Adrian Mars Director of Smithsonian's National Zoo and Conservation Biology Institute. We've been working with this species for over 50 years, and what makes us so special is, first of all, we're the Smithsonian, so this program is steeped in so much science, uh, the data is so valuable, but also because we partner with people. That's what we do. Partnering with um, you know, other zoos who have pandas, partnering with other conservation organizations, but most importantly, partnering with our colleagues in China, working together to save the species. One of the incredible things about the Smithsonian is we have scientists who have this, a, a deep knowledge of different fields of expertise, for example, population biology, reproduction, uh, and these are people who have really helped us move the needle forward on panda conservation. But then you combine this with the scientists in China who have this incredible understanding of the species, their history, their habitat, their behavior, and you put those together, and that really is the key for our conservation success. Giant pandas are so rare, people don't have an opportunity to see them. And I love the fact that when people come to our zoo, they can see them for free, right? Everybody can walk in, they can come and they can see them for free, but not everyone has that opportunity. So our panda cam reaches millions of people all around the world. And when they see our pandas, it's not just this, it's not an impersonal camera that's kind of just looking onto the pandas. The panda cam is operated by our researchers. And so what our public is seeing, they're seeing through the eyes of our scientists, through our researchers, through our behavioral specialists. So they're getting this really unique close up view of how we look at our pandas. Their departure is something we have been prepared for, you know, our, our entire lives, our entire career with them. And so this is something that I've been ready for. And right now we are so focused on making sure that these pandas are returned to China and they return, you know, happily and safely that I can't see beyond that. I'm so focused on making sure things go well and that everyone's taken care of. Uh, but I can promise you that on the day that they're leaving, I'm just... I'm, I'm going to be a mess. Uh, I will be a puddle of tears on that day because I know these animals. I know them as individuals. They mean so much to me and I'm, I'm, I'm really going to miss them. The reason the zoo is so important because it's an opportunity for people to see animals in person, right? Not to see a video, but to see them live, to hear them, to smell them, to get that whole experience. And so people won't conserve what they don't care about. People have to care to conserve. And so for me, it's been so important to um, teach people to care about these animals, to want to conserve these animals, but also to feel good about it. There's a joy in this, and there's also a success. People coming here, seeing our pandas, buying a panda t-shirt or a panda plushie means that they are actively part of our success story. One of the most incredible aspects of working with giant pandas is this incredible community that it creates. I'm not just talking about the people here at the zoo, right? The panda team, the keepers, the, you know, the veterinarians, or even just our colleagues in China, this wonderful, you know, international back and forth exchange of, you know, information, but really billions of people around the world watch our pandas, they root for our success, they cheer for these animals, they cheer for us. Um, they are a critical part of saving the species and it's really, um, it's exciting, it's humbling, it's a tiny bit terrifying to know that the world is watching, um, celebrating, and all responsible and part of this incredible story. When I first came to the zoo about 15 years ago, the first question that everyone asked me was, are you going to get to work with the pandas? Uh, and I was excited as the rest of them. And I'll never forget the first time I met a panda up close. It was Taishan, and I was about to be introduced to him, and I was very nervous because would he like me? If he didn't like me, would I get fired? I didn't know. I didn't know the rules of the pandas. Uh, but I was very fortunate. Uh, the curator I was with, Lisa Stevens, had been here for a while, and she gave me a biscuit, and I got to give Taishan a biscuit, and we made friends instantly.